Very good. Ah! Wow! Ooga booga. <laughs> Me use axe in your face. Hard. Let's find out if a piggy has a pelt. Yeah. Uh, I thought I saw something. A piggy pelt! He sure did! Booga booga! Welcome back to Minecraft SevTech Ages! We're picking up... Well, not right where we left off. In fact, we are back at the Ooga Booga Cave. Um, having left the village, where we had spawned originally. And I've done some renovation here on the Ooga Booga Cave. You can see that I moved the, uh, the entire hearth over here to the back of the cave. And I moved, uh, moved the kilns down. Actually, I made a new kiln, moved these kilns down. I had to make two kilns, because if you destroy a kiln, you get back, um, you get one brick. <laughs> so I made up two new kilns, and we moved everything over here. I've got the fire underneath the kilns, because I like the way that looks better. I don't like the, the kilns floating in space against the wall. Um, but I do like having some of that fire exposed, so I, I lifted this charcoal block up and put the uh, the cooking grill up above the flames. And it's so cozy in here now, I love it. Loves it, ooga booga. Um, that means I uh, loves it in, uh, in Caveman. All right, anyway, let's get back to work here. I am um, grinding, and we're grinding up bone shards to make bone meal, or bone points, or whatever the heck that thing is. Basically, you put your bone on here, uh, with these bones right here, this kind of bone, and then you grind them, and you get, uh, oh, hold on, fella, I hear you. And then you get, uh, you get bone meal. But if you put a bone on there, you get that little bone shard. Actually, I'm not going to do any more because I have enough bone meal. 15, well, let's make, let's do one more. Let's do one more so we can, we can trade back at the village where we were in the last episode and get that farmland. And we can advance to agriculture technologies. Whoa, that's enough. Stop spinning. Stop grinding your bones. Uh, that's what we want right there. Okay, now we can grind. Grind it up. And I think it was eight, eight bone meal, right, for one farmland. I'm pretty sure it was eight, so then we can buy, so now we can buy two, and we'll have, uh, according to my calculations, beep, 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 one extra, right? Yeah. Uh, which we can use for something else. Also, check out all the bone things we can make here. All this you can make out of bones. We can actually make shears. Bone shears. What you got in your hands? Put that down. He's got a bone. You want to grind your bone? Sorry, but you cannot use my grindstone. It's only for me. All right, let's waste these two clowns. Can I have that bone? That looks like it's a bone sword. Oh, no, he's burning. I want to get the kill. I want the kills. There we go. All right. Uh, so, I think... Well, let's check that. Let's check our advancements window here. Um, and we need... Yeah, we got to go back to the village. Make that trade for that farmland right there while we're here let's bang out a couple things like this bladder bladder than nothing no buckets use a fluid bladder to craft with and we're going to need that to make leather i've already investigated this but what we really want to do is get some kind of a spawn point made up so we can either do a tp or the bed or in fact we can do both and we can carry one of these around as a um as a mobile spawn point which is pretty cool and we want a saddle for riding horses. And this all requires leather. Now, leather is a bit of a bore to make. So check this out. I've already investigated this, so I have some knowledge on how to do it. So basically what we need to get leather is wet tanned hide. Now to make wet tanned hide, we need dried hide, fluid bladder, and ground resin. Before we get there, we still have to, uh, we have to get salted hides. And then to get the salted hide, we need a raw hide and rock salt or regular salt. And there's our bladder again. And then for raw hide, we need animal pelts and a uh, and our work blade. And it just so happens that we have we have one wolf pelt here, but we're gonna have to go out and get more of something. Oh, sheep pelts. Ooh, ooh. I wonder if we could just kill a sheep for a sheep pelt. I've seen some sheep around. Uh, yeah, we have one. One, no, wrong, wrong thing. I don't want the wool. Ah, stop. I mean, I love these chests, especially that you can pick them up and move them around. But they are kind of annoying. There we go. All right, so there's a wolf pelt. We put our blade in here. And a wolf pelt. Well, there you go. Two, oh, we got two raw hides out of it. Pretty good yield, if I do say so myself. So now with that raw hide, we need to salt it. Um, so we need the bladder first and some salt. I do have salt, right? Yeah, we got the salt. 
in the water, but we need, we still need that bladder. So let's go ahead and make that bladder. Bladder, right here, bladderific. The bladder is a brown dye powder, ink sac, and plant twine. So the dye powder can be crafted with black powder, red powder, and yellow, or just orange, right? So let's go see if we can find some red, yellow, or orange flowers to make up this dye. And then, uh, oh, go back here. And then we need uh, ink sac. I think I have an ink sac. We have an ink sac right here. <laughs> you have to be really precise here. Two ink sacs. Now, I'm wondering, can we get a black dye from an ink sac? Let's try grinding it, see what happens. Booga booga. Oh, yes. Yes, it worked. So we have, stop, stop grinding. All right, ink sack, we'll save one ink sack. Now we have two black dye, and that's all we need, right? To make the brown. But we need uh, orange or red and yellow, or red and yellow to make the orange, etc., etc. Okay, well, let's go out and have a peek and see what we got here outside. I'm gonna put the bones away for now. We don't need to carry the stuff around. And the bone meal. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll grab this stuff before we go back to town. But we have a little bit of time here before we do so. All right, let's go pick some flowers. There's a red flower right there, but I don't want to take my red flower. Oh, what is that? Ah, it's a spitter. It's a big spitter. Oh, God, that's gross. It's literally hanging from the tree. <laughs> that is so creepy. Hi. What you doing up there? Uh, what happened to my trees? <laughs> I think they caught on fire. They don't have any leaves on them. Yeah, I guess there must have been a spark from the lava. Um, but let's kill this guy. We need string eventually, too. String is a super important ingredient. He looks friendly. You friendly? All right. I put my sword away because I have these two spears now. I figured, ow, ow, gross. Ew. Yeah. I, I don't have a, ow, ah, stuck. <laughs> I don't have any kind of arachnophobia or anything, but that's just really creepy. The way he crawls around like that. He did not give us string, but we got a spider eye. All right, here's a bunch of red poppies over here. But there's tulips, too. So I'm thinking maybe there's going to be an orange tulip. Here's some orange stuff. And that's yellow. I'm not going to take anything I can't identify right now. Oh, Piggy Waggy, how we doing, buddy? Hey, have you seen any orange tulips around here, pal? Oh, here's yellow. That's good. Grab that. So we can make orange with red and yellow on oh, a rose bush. Ooh, oh, here's orange. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That'll just make it easier. Orange tulips make orange um, dust. Not dust, whatever it's called. Right? Can we make... Yeah. Yeah, right here. Powder. Dye powder. Orange dye powder. Easy peasy. So... Oh, I didn't grab that tulip right there. It's just lying down. Uh, okay, so four tulips, and we're going to have to go bring those back and wreck them on the... Um, on the grindstone. Do we have any more squiddies around? I think I'm gonna grab a couple more bladders just in case. Gotta be some squiddies over here. Every time I hit R, my inventory gets sorted because it's mapped, the R key is mapped to my run, as well as, um, <laughs> as well as the, uh, the sort, one of the inventory mods, um, key bindings. See? Sorts. So, yeah, every time I run, my inventory gets sorted, and when I come back to it, it looks great. All right, four ink sacks should be enough. I think we can go easy on our little squiddies right now. Let's head on up. Oh, we should eat. What can we eat? How about baked potatoes? Now, is a baked potato a grain or a vegetable? Let's find out. I mean, it has been cooked, so I guess we consider that process. That's a vegetable. We really need to start thinking about those grains. And that's why we need to learn how to farm. But uh, one step at a time. Let's do some grinding first of all. Let's grab our orange tulips. And I'm assuming we can get that orange dye powder from uh, Ooga booga -ing. Um Yes, we can. Right there. <laughs> Ooga Booga. Ooga Booga. Works great. I love grinding in this game. It's actually pretty fun. I know it's a grind. The game is a terrible grind. There's a lot of things that you have to do to get to point A to uh, point B and C and D. But, hey, it's like real life. I mean, this is what you have to do. You want leather? You can't just go out and chop up an animal and get leather. 
you actually have to um, you actually have to salt and dry that those pelts. There we go, brown dye powder. We got four of them. That is plenty, right? So yeah, we're good to go. I guess we got a. Oh, we got a ooga booga. Good. I love ooga booga. Let's grab a ooga booga rock. <laughs> ooga booga fun. Okay, put the dye in there, the twine, and an ink sac. Get the ooga booga rock, and here we go. Ooga booga. What do we get? It's a bladder. Woo! It's a little bladder. Great. Let's go fill it up. Uh oh, nighttime. Here comes nighttime. So it comes empty, and now we fill it with water, and it contains water. 1,000 megabytes of water. Wow. That's some pretty good storage. All right, now we need to make, um, right there. Rawhide, uh, salt, and a fluid bladder. Oh, we have it all. Yeah, right there. Boom. Done. Not too shabby. We have one salted hide. <laughs> oh, wait, we can make another one. Right, so it was the rawhide. Now oh, we got to fill the bladder back up again. Dang it. Yeah, that's going to be a pain. And some salt. There we go. So now we have two salted hides. And let's fill up that bladder while we're here. Yeah, give me some water. I hope we can fix this eventually. Um, but we're gonna need a bucket for that, right? Move some water around. Now we need to dry these fellers. And we dry them on drying racks. Hides of process pelts reading to red redding? Redding to be dried or tanned in the process to produce to produce leather. Yeah, those are drying racks, pretty sure. I've played with these before a long time ago in another mod pack. Yeah, pretty easy to make, just a few slabs. All right, well, that's easy. Even a caveman can do it. So let's do some Ooga Booga. And let's make up some drying racks. Ooga Booga. All right, get over here, you. Put those guys in there. Ooga Booga. And there's our drying rack. Come here. All right, one drying rack. Let's put it up here. Uh, above the fire. You know what? We're gonna have to move this. I think it'll look really cool by the fire. Don't you? Right there. And where is our salted hide? There we go. One salted hide drying by the fire. Pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and make another one. And now we just wait. So let's give that some time. And I think what we might have to do is go out and do some more hunting because we need a lot of leather. I think we're going to need something like a dozen leather. I did a little math off camera. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we're going to need um, about a dozen to accomplish the task that we want to accomplish today. One of the things we want is that sleeping pad. Sleeping mat. Sleeping mat. Supportable sleeping mat. Yeah, see, we need three leather for this. And thatch. Thatch thin slab. So this is kind of interesting. We, we have the chopping block, right? So we can make these, but we need to make regular thatch first, which requires dry thatch. Um, hold on. Let's look up THTC thatch. So yeah, we have to get um, we need dry thatch, right? There's the dry thatch. Here's fresh thatching, and that requires rush stems to make the fresh thatching. Okay. Okay, yeah, then we use the fresh thatching to make a big wet thatch block. <laughs> and then I think we take the wet block and kiln it to make the thatch. There we go. Great. All right. This is cool. And then we get those little fellers, and then we can make our sleeping mat. Whew. Sheesh. This caveman thing is a lot of work, isn't it? Our leather is dried. We have now a dried hide. Dried hide. That rhymes. Let's check out what we need to do with our dried hide. Fluid bladder and ground resin. And that'll give us the wet tan hide. Aha! Uh -huh. And then we put the wet tan hide on the drying rack. And then we finally get leather. Okay, well let's um, ground resin. We don't have a crusher. We do have a grindstone. We don't have a millstone. All right, so we can grind something here, but that's an unfamiliar item. What can we grind that we know about? Oh, bark! Jungle wood bark. Okay, we can do this with oak bark, maybe? Yeah. Oh, easy peasy! Just put some uh, oak wood and a blade together to make bark. Is that it? Is that it? We, this work blade is really coming in handy. Yes, yes, indeed. That is all we need. All right. 
Um, let's grind it. I suppose we have to grind this on the grindstone. This grindstone is really coming in handy. Ooga booga. We're grinding again. So much grinding. That's what they said. They warned me. <laughs> but I don't mind this grind. Like I said earlier, this is a fun grind. There's, there's, uh, there's unfun grind and then there's fun grind. And this is just, um, this is part of the process. You want to be a caveman and work your way up through the ages? You got to grind a little. Oh, we got a strip, strip logged. We stripped the log. That's pretty cool. Those look nice. Oh, what the? Is that the leather? I guess that was the leather. All right, come here, you. Um, okay, so now we have our two dry, not leather, dried hides. Two dried hides, and let's put these, uh, let's just put this stuff away. I got a couple of extra chests here. All right, so now let's get back to um, this leather again. Leather, yeah, ground resin, dried hide. Oh, we have everything in our inventory. Fantastic. Wet tanned hide. Yeah. It's kind of gross. Now we're going to go fill this up again. We're going to have to make some kind of a water bucket. I think there is a permanent water source that you can make with a bucket. Ah, oh, spider. Oh, wait, this is good. We want to kill him. Come on up here, buddy. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, so gross. Ooh, look at him. The way he moves. It's actually really, really well done. That animation is sick. Hi. Wow. <laughs> Along came a spider. Sat down. Oh, we got we got string from the spider. This one, anyway. We just got unlucky with the first one. All right, good to know. So that is one way to get string. Killing spiders. So that has not changed. Oh, we got two string out of that guy. Thank you. Thank you very much. So kindly. There we go, our wet tan hide. Got two of them. And we put these up on the racks. Oh yeah, and they'll dry out right here by the hearth. I love my hearth. Ooga booga. All right, let's see. Um, what is next? We got the leather drying out. Let's go back to the um, sleeping mat thingy. And we gotta make this uh, stuff here, the thatch, right? So we need to find we need to find the rushes. Rush stems. Rush stems. Is that it? Just rush stems? Okay. Make the fresh thatching. So we're gonna have to go outside, and it looks like it's a lovely day now. No, 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 no. Rain. Rain, rain, go away. We need to do a rain dance. Anybody know a rain dance to shut the rain off? How about this right here? Eh, booga booga. Nope, didn't work. Okay. Worth a try. Uh, let's go. Let's go find some rushes. Wait, that's not a rush, is it? No, that's like a... What is this thing? I put this out here. I was carrying it around. And I know this is going to come in handy at some point. Yeah, manzanita bush. I don't remember wh where I saw that, but I saw it in a recipe, and it looked important. Hold on. There's a bucket of some kind here. A barrel of Vadis. Craft a primal core wooden barrel to hold liquids. I wonder if that will be a permanent water source. Barrel of Vadis. Uh, I guess it's this right here. A U barrel, acacia. I guess we get to choose what we want to make. How about an oak barrel? Um, wait, is that it? Oh gosh, they're really easy. Collects r water from rain. <gasps> oh, let's make it. Let's go ooga booga that right now. Ooga booga while it's raining. We need a slab and a bunch of planks. Okay, go. Run it out. Let's sort that inventory while you're running. <laughs> That's a talent, huh? So simple, even a caveman can do it. Grab that ooga booga ruck. All right, quickly now. Quickly, before that rain dies. Do we have any slab? Oh, dang it. We're going to make some slabs here, too. This is going to use up a lot of our wood. Booga, okay, booga. Okay. All right. And while well, that's coming, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, and a slab of ruski down at the bottom, right? Was that it? Is that really it? That can't be it. Booga, okay, booga. Okay. Yes, it is. Wow, that was easy. Oh, we got it. We advanced the barrel of Vadis. I don't know what that means. But we're going to put it out right here in the corner. Bloop. That should collect the rain. Mmm. Going to be delicious. Um, so I guess we can't use it in the water water. Like a body of water. We're just going to have to collect rain. Is that right? Oh, hold on. Let me go put my booga booga rock away. I don't want to lose it. Very, very important piece of equipment. And put you over there. I want to have some inventory space here. All right, there we go. Now, let's go find some rushes. Rushes in the rain. Now, I don't know if they, if they grow in the water. Rushes usually grow near water, on the shoreline, right? 
You rush. Rush? Not rush. Piggy Wiggy, where's the rushes? You help me with the pink tulips. A pink tulip? <laughs> with a pink. With the orange tulips. Maybe you can point me. What? Just follow the coast? Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Is this it? He says no. It's horsetail. <laughs> That's horsetail. You ding dong. Well, what does he know? He's just a pig. What are these things? These look like rushes. <gasps> oh. Well, rushes. These are the rushes. He was right after all. <laughs> Piggy Wiggy is my hero. Remember Hero Pig from Minecraft days? We're going to call him the Hero Pig. Well, I will never kill that pig right there. He's the best. All right, so now we have 16. Let's grab a few more. Not sure how many we're going to need. Oh, I wonder if these grow back. Can you pop off the top? <gasps> yes, you can. Dang it. Oh, I got seeds. Rust, rust, rush seeds. I can, I can regrow them. Good. I want to... Oh, you regrow them on sand? Anywhere. Wait, it said dirt. Grass or dirt. All right, you you, know, you don't belong there, but all right, whatever. Try growing. I think this stuff's going to be important, so we might as well grab some. So you, can, you can knock it off the top just like um, sugar cane, right? And you get seeds back. Fabulous. All right, keep growing. Keep getting out of there. Very good. Ah! Wow! Now I'm stuck! Oh, I hit the wrong key! You just destroyed all my rushes! Did you see him sneak out of the house? I took my fingers off WASD for one second. And then I tried to hit the run key and it didn't work. Man, he snuck right up through those rushes. You gotta hand it to him. That was very clever. Very clever! Um, I guess I will fix this up a little bit. Let's get back into that Ooga Booga cave where it's safe. Nasty, sneaky creepers creeping through the rushes. Holy cow. <sighs> Alright, let's check the thatch again. And that was fresh thatching. And that's uh, four rush stems. We can do that right here in our pockets. Easy peasy. Let's just make a bunch of those. Save some rushes. And then uh, we need this dry thatch. I'm uh, sorry, wet thatch. A big block of wet stuff. Make a few of these too. Boom, boom, boom. Make four of those. Sounds good. And then uh, we dry thatch it in a kiln, right? Okay, good. Yeah, we saw that earlier, right? Oh, leather's up. Leather! Leather, rinse, and repeat. Woohoo! Ooga booga! We got leather. Pretty cool stuff, right? Two leather. Uh, we only need ten more. <laughs> and we're going to have to go out hunting for some pelts because I don't have any more pelts. So all that from one wolf pelt, um, 25 minutes later, and we have two leather. <laughs> Talk about grind, huh? But it's fun. It is fun, I gotta say. I am really, really enjoying this mod pack, guys. And I hope you guys are, too. So, don't forget. Leave a like on the video. Leave me comments. Leave me tips and tricks. And uh, laugh at my foibles and failures and all that. Because um, it's fun. Having a great time. Having a great time again in Minecraft. It's like starting all over again from square one. Back in the day, the alpha days when I started back in, like, 2010 or whatever. Oh, look at that. We got the stuff. Grab it. What I like about these kilns and even this um, grill, when you grab the item out of there, it goes right into your inventory. It doesn't pop out, for example, and fall into flames or anything. So that's very nice. Anyway, uh, we got our thatch here, super duper. And we're going to need more. Because we have to make... Um... Oh, wait. No, maybe we don't. We, we, they're, already, they're already tiny. Yeah, they shrunk. See, the wet thatch dried out and became these little uh, little half slabs. Right click to pick up. Really? So you can put them down and then pick them up again. Neat. Alright, grab those and we get silver balls. Silver balls! Okay, now we need to dry thatch them. Um, dry thatch them. So we need to put them on our manual chopping block. Okay, we have that. Have one of those right here. And we need a axe for this, right? Booga booga! What do we get? We got thin, those are the thin slabs. That's exactly what we need. And we need, how many of those? Oh, we got two that time. Good yield. Yeah, I like the random yield thing. That's pretty cool. So now we have three thin slabs. And that is enough 
for that sleeping pen. Hey, we need one more leather, guys. Oh, no. Dang it. Okay. Well, we're going to go hunting. Let me just get organized. And then we're going to go on a little hunt in the rain. And uh, we'll track down some aminals out there. And then we'll uh, we'll finish this deal up. Let me just put some of this stuff away. Don't really need it right now in our hands. Booga, booga. Making more spears. That's what I just said. In, uh, in caveman language, by now you really should be understanding what I'm saying here. I'm picking it up, right? See? I thought this was just fun and games, but you're learning a new language. All right, we now have three spears. Uh, plant fiber. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And can we just get rid of these plant fibers? Boom. Okay, very good. We now have um, three spears. That should do the trick. Ooh, ooga booga. My ooga booga rock is almost broken. I'm gonna have to make another one. Oh, hold up. A little laggy there. All right, and a flake flint point we don't need. Okay, we are now ready to go out and do some hunting. I'm gonna, you know what? Let's put this stuff away too. I just don't want to lose it if we die. And this is one of the reasons we need to make the spawn point. ASAP, as soon as possible. That's what I like about the spears, see? They do not degrade. You can just pick stuff up, you can poke stuff, you can smash stuff. And you can kill stuff. Did that other spear end up in a tree or something over here? I don't know. Maybe it broke. Maybe it's stuck in the tree. I don't know what happened to it. Whatever. It don't matter. Let's go. Let's go hunt. Ooga booga. So, I know there are horses over here. And horses will give us pelts. But, I don't like killing them. Oh, a spider. Hi, spider. I see you. You cry. You creeping around? You're so creepy. Man, they're so much more unpredictable now. Because they start, they try to climb above you. Um, what's that? Ah, creeper. Oh, you're not going to sneak up on me this time, pal. Oh, gosh. Surrounded. Surrounded. Maybe this nighttime hunt is not a good idea. It's fun, though. We need a little adventure in this series as well. Right? Huh. Got him in the water. Right where we want him. Let's throw a spear. Right between the eyes. Bam. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I don't want to get stuck in the water. Now, did that break? I don't know how these things break. Like, that is, I guess that is one bad thing about the spears is that they could just randomly break on you, which is why we have multiples. We could always fall back to my my axe. Oh, we got, uh, we got the goods. Gunpowder. So I was saying... Uh, oh, no, the spider right there. I see you, little buddy. You think you're so sneaky. Are they not attacking? Well, I guess, I mean, they will defend themselves, obviously. I want that string, though. We're going to kill every spider we encounter. Because we need the string. Um, yeah, so... Typically, I do not kill horses. I never kill horses. They're beautiful, majestic, amazing animals. And it feels wrong. But as a caveman... Ca caveman really didn't understand their, their, their value. Right? I mean, their value to a caveman was... Food. And pelts. Right? So, we have to think about that. So, I might have to kill one. Oh, thanks for the bone, buddy. I love how the zombies carry bones around. Uh, there's taters. You're not gonna, I'm not gonna bother that right now. The inf inventory gets filled so fast. This is my bag. Ah! Bring it on! Bring it on, Mr. Spider. I got your number. I got your number now in the open field, anyway. Fight him in the open! Fight him in the open. Um, so I might have to kill... Oh, there's a trumpet blower. <laughs> love those guys. I might actually have to kill a horse if I can't find anything else. But I'll, I want to find... Hopefully we can find a sheep. Ah, oh, he saw us. Blow it out, you bud, pal. This is the wrong time. What, are you from New York or something? Always blowing your horn? My gosh. Take a chill pill, buddy. All right. Well, we'll head over in this direction. I know there's... There, I thought I saw some sheep over here. Oh, there's cows. Cows give pelts. There we go. We don't have to worry about... Killing horses. Hi, cow. Come here for a sec. Um, stand still. <laughs> -hoo -hoo! Wow, they run fast, don't they? <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> yes, they do. Well, I will outrun you. I won't outrun him, but I can catch him. Um, did we get a pelt? Cow pelt! It's even cow colored. That's awesome. So there's all kinds of different pelts, but we can turn any pelt into, um, 
into that hide that we're looking for. Uh. All right, cow, get up here. Oh, look at him run. Look at him go. They are so fast. Oh, no. Oh, you spiders. Do not blow at me. Man, push me right into the spider. Get my other spear back. Uh, did I get it? Oh, he's... Look at him. He's going for cover. <laughs> that cow knows where to go. Oh, he whacked me with his horn. Really? I thought music was supposed to bring people together. Yep. All right, I'm out of here. <gasps> Sheepy! Hi. Come here. I have no qualm. Qualms. Qualms? I have no qualms about killing sheep. Look at that. We got sheep pelt now. Fantastic. I don't want to kill all of them, though, because I wouldn't mind... Um, uh, I wouldn't mind trying to shear them. And yeah, we can shear the bones. Oh. What's up? All right, we can make bone shears. Maybe get some uh, wool. Oh, nice flowers. I love those daffodils, right? Uh, hi. Shambling on over, huh? See what all the hullabaloo is about? Ah, I'm getting snuck up on again as long as it's not a creeper. Wow, oh, there's a creeper. What is this stuff? Don't get stuck in that mud, man. Get them stuck in the mud. Fine. Piggy, cover me. I'll eat my tater. X does a lot of damage. Wham! And crits. <laughs> me use axe in your face. Hard. All right, what do we got here? Graves dust, sheep pelts, um, and a twumpet. Let's go get... Oh, look at all that meat, too. Yummy, yummy. Uh, I need more pelts. Now, do piggies give pelts? Hey, piggies, you got pelts? Let's find out if a piggy has a pelt. Hiya! Uh, I thought I saw something. A piggy pelt! He sure did! It's mine now, thanks. How about you? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Look at that. Oh, he didn't have a piggy pelt, but he had bacon. Nice. Home sweet home! After the long hunt! Check out all the goodies we got. Three cow pelts. One sheep pelt. Two piggy pelts. And I even picked up a, a wolf. Oh, a head? <laughs> I found um, these wolf parts on the ground on the way back. So something killed that wolf. Uh-oh. No. No. Okay. Um, yeah. So I got wolf pelt here, too. So these are really easy. I guess we just turn them all into um, what we need, right? So rawhide. We probably don't need all of them. Um, let's do that one there. Look at all the rawhide. Wow. Loves it. Okay. And then the piggy hide. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter where you put it. Piggy hide. 21 raw hides. That head. What can we do with the head? I'm going to leave that alone. I'll figure it out. Or you guys can put comments down below and let me know. Uh, let's put that away. And we have two leather. Oh, by the way, I got I got white fleece from killing that sheep too. So I'm thinking we can make these shears very easily. Oops. In fact, I can make them right now. But let's not do that. Let's, let's do that next time. We shall do that next time. Right now, I want to focus on the sleeping bag and get this done today. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my leather, and uh, we'll make that bed. So give me a moment. I'll be right back. This is kind of a long process. <laughs> booga booga. That's uh, welcome back in Caveman Speak. So yeah, check out all the leathers we have behind us in the various stages of, uh, of procurement processing, or whatever you want to call it. So... We have, uh, we've got dried, we've got wet, uh, wait, what do we have? <laughs> yeah, dried hide, which we turn into the wet, which is dried hide. We already did this earlier, I know, but we'll do it one more time for, for, uh, old time's sake. There we go. Whoop, hold on. Got a little lag going on there. And I actually made up a new bladder, because this is taking forever. Um, okay, now let's hang these two guys up. We can take the ones that are down. Done. That looks done. That's actual real leather. And stick the wet ones up there. There we go. So now we have two in the pocketses, and we had two from our prior um, drying, and that's all we need. Four leather, and we need uh, no, pick it up, and our thatch, right? A little thatch thingies, thatch thin slabs, and if I recall correctly, this is all we need to make the bed. Maybe leather across the uh, yeah, the sleeping sleeping pad, right? Um, yeah, just like that, but we do need our Booga Booga Rock. And... Booga Booga! We got it! <laughs> Look at that thing! It's a beautiful color, too! Bed boys, bed boys! Alright, let's do it! Bed boys, 
Sleeping mat. Hold on a sec. A portable bed. Right click to toggle spawn point on and off. Oh, cool. Oh, it's glowing. It's a glowing bed. So now it's a spawn point. Although we can carry it around and make a portable spawn. That's pretty cool. Uh, where should we put our bed? We don't really have any space anywhere. <laughs> um, we'll just put it right here by the, uh, by the fire. Does it actually just stay down? I don't know. You can only sleep at night. Oh, no, we have to carry it around the whole time, I guess. Portable bed, right click. Well, it's not nighttime. Oh, dang it. All right, we're going to have to wait for nighttime, so I'll tell you what. I will uh, get back to work here. There's some nice leather. Nice leather, and I'm going to make up a few more of these. Oh, i got to go down and get more water. Although, hold on a sec. Let me show you something. Remember my little uh, barrel over here? It's got water in it. Tiny, tiny bit. It rained and filled it up, just the bottom. So my guess is the more rain we get, the higher that's gonna fill up. And then we can use that as a, oh, look, it's a horn blower. Hi, buddy, you here to blow your horn? Well, I'm not gonna listen, so get out of here. Hey, Dad. Thanks for the bounce. Yeah, the more, um, the more that barrel will fill, which is a good thing, because I'm running out of actual water over here. You cannot reuse those, um, as far as I can tell, anyway. All right, let's make a couple more wets. Booga booga. That means it's nighttime. Yay! We can go to bed now. So, I, like I said, I don't think we can put this thing down. Oh, okay. <laughs> we do put it down. We sleep on it. And then we're right back up again. Oh, it has a durability, too. Ah, so it doesn't last forever. We have mining fatigue and weakness right now. Yeah, because we just woke up. <sighs> nom, 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 nom. Booga booga, need coffee. No coffee yet. Hopefully we can make coffee someday. Um, now, before we go, now that we have our sleeping mat and we know how that thing use, uh, is used, let's make this teepee. And this is five leather and a bunch of sticks. And this is gonna be, it's like a fancy bed. So we can carry that thing around too, apparently. And uh, have a nice, um, nice portable bed. So let's put our leather in here. It's one, two, three, four, and five. And the rest are all sticks. Get in there. And then we ooga booga. Oh, look at that. So small. I hope it grows. It's out of the weather. <laughs> Fantastic. So now we have a, uh, a teepee. And let's check that advancements chart. So we are moving along well here. Next step will be the, uh, the saddle. We'll do that in the next episode. And the, um, the lead. And then we can, uh, we can tame a horsey maybe. All right, well, we can't sleep right now because it's such a nice, lovely morning. Sun is on the rise, but we can at least put the TP down. Wow! Oh, yeah, it expands all right. Look at the size of that. I love it. So um, my guess is we can just pick it back up again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the little pieces fell off, though. Um, does that have a durability? Probably only when we sleep in it. Yeah, all right. Well, let's put it down. I feel like somebody's sneaking up on us. Put it down. Put it down. Can you put it down? There we go. Um, now, how do we use it? Then we just climb in. Oh, you can, yeah, you can sleep right here. Sleep right in the very center square, maybe? Inside? I guess so. But obviously, it is daytime, so we can't sleep. But I'm going to leave that right there because it looks amazing. Might have to get a um, get a screenshot of this because that looks pretty cool, that TP, huh? Ooga booga! I like my TP. What do you think? Looks good, huh? All right, so I think we're done here for now, folks. Let's uh, let's call it quits. Oh, gosh, I wonder if the uh, lava can set this thing on fire. I hope not. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I'm going to go back into the Ooga Booga Cave and get ready for the next episode. We've got tons of leather here. We can make our leather strips, make a saddle, and all that fun stuff. And then we'll head back to town and finish up that quest we started, well, in the last episode. We just never completed it. And that is to uh, learn farming. And we can work on some vegetation. Uh, grains. Got to work on our grains. All right. With that, my friends, I'm going to say goodbye. So, ooga booga.